the valiant spy photographers camping at the Nürburgring's Bank Carussel Corner have caught the upcoming 2020 Porsche 911 GT3 going through track testing. The naturally aspirated, track-focused version of the 992 generation 911 will most likely spend many arduous hours at the green hell, as the GT3 variant's release is still a couple years away. Last week we ran photos of the 992's Carrera version, largely undisguised. The black test mule spotted on this occasion wears more covers around the lower portions of its bodywork, but it can be seen the arches are wider than on the Carrera version, the ends of the full-width taillight have been disguised in a possible attempt to hide the widening. We can also see that one of the GT3 hallmarks, the central exhaust, is there, in the middle of the covered rear defacer. However, the giant fixed GT3 wing we all know and love is missing on the prototype. The wide wheels are mounted with center locks, as they should be. Compared to the GT3 mule spotted on the street in late August, the front wheel arches wear riveted material. Earlier this year, Porsche's head of motorsport, Dr. Frank Stefan Walliser, denied rumors that the GT3 would also gain a turbocharged engine along with the rest of the 992 lineup. Walliser said that Porsche will stick with a naturally aspirated flat six as long as, Porsche, can do it, continuing that the last car ever built will be a GT3 manual. In April, Andreas Reuninger of Porsche's GT division also confirmed the non-turbo, non-hybrid GT3, saying that the naturally aspirated engine is what GT3 customers want. The new generation 992 will officially be unveiled at the Paris Motor Show next month, and we're hoping for more GT3-related info to be disclosed there.